We're talking all the fall fabrics you can sew, and we're starting now. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Elizabeth from ElizabethMadeThis.com helping you sew something creative. If that is up your alley, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I'm gonna talk about just different kinds of fabrics that you can you can use to sew for fall because fall is like starting to be in the air, maybe. It's been a really, really hot summer. This this end of these this end of summer has been super hot here in Colorado, and I think it's been in a lot of places in the US. So Maybe, maybe by, maybe by watching this video, maybe by thinking about these fabrics, maybe the cool weather will like start to happen. I don't know, I'm hoping, right? But that's all we can do. So I wrote a post on my blog about a jump, like a huge, huge resource guide about how, where to shop for online fabric, for online fabric. There's over 200, well over 200, 200 fabric stores on there. Anything from little tiny, little tiny mom and pop, indie stores to larger, larger stores and things like that. So I try to think about different ways that I could kind of make that resource more helpful to other people. So I have put together, I put together a fabric swatch guide that you can get, that you can get as part of my newsletter. And then this video is going to kind of tie into that. And so I'm going to give you some ideas of where it is that you can go and find some of these fabrics, because these are not, the fabrics that I'm going to show you are not all from one shop and they're probably gone at this point. So, but if you can kind of get an idea of the categories of fall fabrics that you can go for and so then that's a good idea and I'll give you some ideas of where you can find these things too okay first up faux leather oh my gosh what it is what is it about faux leather I swear like it has an attitude or something like that and I just want to wear it in fall all the time all the time I have a, a purple faux leather jacket it's got to be one of my favorite things that I've ever made and recently in Atlanta I found this snakeskin print faux leather and it's just perfect for, for jacket. It's just, it's got enough movement in it that it's going to be easy enough to work with. It's not like an upholstery vinyl that's like super thick and chunky and not happening, right? So that's a really great one. Um, I will put, you know what, I'm going to, instead of talking because I don't remember them off the top of my head, I will put down the ideas of where you can find these places in the description box so you can kind of get an idea of that. So full leather, yeah, go sew some. It's really cool. There's another video on here on, on my channel from like eons ago talking about how to work with faux leather and, and just basic tips for that so definitely i will link that one as well and what else what else faux suede i'm wearing faux suede <laughs> faux suede is one of those things too i think something about fall and it's like any kind of textury sort of fabric and faux suede is one of those so this is a suede knit i got it from fabric mart um in the spring so i wore this in the spring but the color you can see this beautiful mustard color it is definitely very fall appropriate i'm already wearing it i'm wearing it to my violin lessons i'm just wearing it all around like all my boots all my boots i've already worn it with like four pairs of boots already this these, these first couple days of fall so faux suede definitely definitely another great option great for it's great for dresses it's great for any kind of like wrappy sort of thing and kind of with a draped sort of detail to it like this this Berta top has has these this little twist going on in it and it's got a little wrap on it so it's a really interesting kind of thing because faux suede have usually most of the faux suede knits that I've ever seen have have a lot of a lot of bounce and a lot of drape to them so that's what they are really really great for okay going on corduroy oh my gosh corduroy again with the texture right texture I'm such a texture junkie I swear so this is a this is a coca <clears throat> corduroy that I got from Fancy Tiger a really long time ago. <laughs> I meant it to make a Tilling the Buttons Cleo dress, and I think I still will make that eventually from it. But it's a very fine whale corduroy, but corduroy is a great fall fabric for skirts. You could think about it for, it would make a really cool blazer with like leather elbow patches, am I right? That would be really sweet. Um, it'd be great for any kind of jumper dress or pants. 
I love wearing corduroy pants. They're so cozy. They just feel so nice and that when the weather starts getting kind of cool. So yeah, corduroy, definitely corduroy. All right, sweater knits. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm a total snob when it comes to the sweater knits. So there's a lot of, there's, there's any weight, any number of weights of sweater knits and some of them are just, they're not warm enough. They're not warm enough, okay? I live in Colorado, we get snow. It's very cold sometimes. So these little wimpy, potchy sweater knits that are see-through are super drapey and, well, they're see-through. They're, they're not keeping anybody warm. But if you live in a climate where it's, it's warmer, during, during the, you know, those times of year, maybe that's a good thing for you. For me, I like something that's got a little bit more, more density and weight to it. This one is actually, interestingly enough, a poly, a poly sweater knit, but it feels like a wool knit. So it's pretty interesting, but I picked this up at Fabric Mart um, last year. It's got kind of a nice fall green color to it, but be choosy when you go for your sweater knits. Make sure you, if it says lightweight, that's what it totally means, lightweight. <laughs> totally means lightweight. Um, you can get swatches. Swatches are so helpful for that kind of thing. Um, and also, you know what? You can thrift sweater knits too. Old sweaters is one of my favorite ways to go and find good quality sweater knits. Um, I've, I've found a lot of really nice cashmere knits that way and I mm, I love cashmere knits. They're so warm and they just, they feel nice. They don't, they don't scratch against your skin quite as much as some other kinds of wools or acrylics or some of those other kind of blends so yeah just be picky with your sweater knits but use them because they're great for for any kind of like big old cowl like that or dresses or sweaters um, cardigans great things to sew for fall all the plaid all the plaid all the plaid all the plaid okay <laughs> what can you not do with plaid right there's so many wonderful plaids out there this one again i picked up from fabric mart fabric mart consistently has about the best selection of of shirtings that i've seen really anywhere they're they they're often on sale and they're always just really excellent quality this is a yarn dyed one i got at some point last year it's got kind of a little bit of fall colors but it's kind of a this kind of a multi-season i guess you could go for for spring as well but i think i think it leans a little bit towards the fall too but this would be a really great kind of vintage shirt dress i think I recently made a Deer and Doe Bluette dress for Fabric Mart, and I think that this would be really good. It would take a little time. It would take a little extra time with those princess teams to match the, to match all the plaids, but you know, that's why we sew anyway too, right? <laughs> so plaid, yeah, you can make a, you know, any kind of button down shirt, layering tops, like those long tunics that people wear over leggings with boots. You're gonna probably hear me say boots like 50 times in this video because I love wearing boots in the fall. I get so excited when it's boot season. <laughs> so how many times have I said boots now? I don't even know. If you can tell me like how many times I've said boots in this video, that would be awesome, right? I, I'd be curious, I'd be curious because I think it's funny because I know that I say it a lot because I know that I write it a lot when I start talking about fall and fall fabrics. Speaking of plaid, what about wool plaid? Ooh, wool plaid, it's so pretty. So this is one that I picked up at Colorado Fabrics, which is a local place to me. It is, it's just a wool blend. And I think it would be really cool as kind of like a, a cool poncho thingy or a, like a luxury scarf. Or I have, there's a yard of it because I just bought it as a remnant. A lot of times at Colorado Fabrics, they have like flat folds of things that I can buy. And uh, so they just, it was just a yard and that's, this was the only one. And that's often how, how it goes. Or it could be like a really cool skirt. So I'm gonna think about this one and kind of play around with it. It's not the best color of tan for my face. So I think what I'm gonna do is kind of maybe just keep it down on my lower half and then I can play with some different color on top. But another thing to think about for fall fabrics. So if you find a good wool plaid, like definitely just kind of play around with it. You can, I've seen, I've seen people make just really basic scarves out of them and just fringe the edges and that looks really great. And that's a super fast and easy fall project that you can do. Okay, and let's talk crepe. Crepe, 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 crepe. It's so bouncy and springy and delightful. <laughs> this one is a poly crepe also from Fabric Mart that I picked up when I was at the store last year. And I think this would make a really great um, like wide legged pant. It's a little bit sheer. So um, they might, this particular one might not work for pants, but certainly there's a lot of wool crepes out there that you can get that uh, will make, make beautiful, beautiful 
stunning pants. So, and this one has really quite a lot of drape to it. So I think it would be good for any kind of a draped sort of top situation going on or a dress. The, the dress that I made for the Little Red Dress Project a couple years ago now um, for Renata's challenge, it had, it had all these kind of gathered, gathered bits to it that were, that were really, really nice that would handle this kind of crepe to it really, really well. And then crepe again, it's got that texture thing that I think this time of year is just really nice for fall. So crepe, yay, crepe. And then what about good old cotton jersey? I think you can wear cotton jersey literally like any time of the year. It just kind of depends on how, how heavy you want it to be. So this particular one is a Liberty of London one that I got from the fabric store in Los Angeles. It's the, the fabric store, I think it's thefabricstore.com. They are based in New Zealand, Australia, one of those two. Oh, I'm so bad. I will, I'll put the, I'll put the real thing down there, but, um, they had, for a while they had, they had a store in Los Angeles that was reasonably close to, to Mood Fabrics, like Mood's Fab, Mood's store in Los Angeles. And this was one of the ones that I found there. I think they closed that store down, which was really sad because it was a beautiful, pretty, pretty store. Before they went, I did pick up this jersey. And I think that in fall, cotton jerseys are really, really wonderful to just make like long sleeve tops that are really, really close to the body and that you can layer them under stuff. You can layer them under sweaters, you can layer them under tunics or, um, you know, jackets, just something that's gonna be comfortable next to your skin, but also gonna add another little extra layer of warmth. Always a good thing. <laughs> and then my last fabric that I wanted to talk about is wool jersey. Oh, wool jersey or just wool in general, just wool in general. Wool is such a great thing for when it starts getting cold. If you can find a good place for wool jersey, it, it, you know what, it's an investment kind of kind of thing. This is a really nice one that I picked up from um, the classified section actually on Pattern Review. If you're not a member on Pattern Review, one of the cool things that they have there is the ability to kind of go and list things kind of like eBay, <laughs> but for people that are probably going to buy stuff for, from your sewing, from your sewing stuff. So I've gotten all kinds of really, really fun things. I've gotten patterns and a lot of my sewing magazines. And once in a while, I'll find a really cool fabric like this one. So this is a, it's just a really nice wool jersey. I think it'll make a really great cowl neck dress or like one of these a nice wrap skirt I think could be really really dramatic but also just so warm and again something I can wear with boots <laughs> so that is my, my those are my recommendations for different fall fabrics that you can sew what are you sewing in your for fall what are your favorite fabrics that you love to sew with when it's when it starts getting a little cold in the air so let me know that in the comments because I'm super interested if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I will see you later, bye. Hey guys, I hope you got some good ideas for working with fall fabrics. And there's lots of other stuff here on Elizabeth Mavis, so go check it out, and I will see you in the next video.